Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma channel. Today I'm gonna show you my new 3x3 door using the observer blocks for Minecraft 1.11. Okay, let's have a look at the, the, the opening and closing sequences for this door. It's pretty slow, <laughs> but it's still cool. And this is the closing. So we can probably now just uh, break those decorative blocks and have a look around this thing. It's one wide and only 72 blocks, pretty small and pretty cool. This is a really simple concept. There, there's almost no redstone here, really. This is just a power line to activate these guys, just a power line and then all the mechanism uh, that makes the double extender switch between closing and opening. So let's have a look at this. And I want to explain the circuit for you guys as well because this is quite interesting. The things, uh, the things I, I went through to make this door work. So okay, first things first. Uh, this guy here uh, is an observer block facing down. I'll do the <laughs> these arrow points upwards. I don't know. Uh, so this button makes this thing works uh, work as a dual edge. All right. So I press a button, I get a pulse. The button deactivates, we get a second pulse. So this is how I get those two blocks uh, out of the way. So I just spit out the first block, and then this down here is delay, because yeah, the, there's bud power here. So I create delay by extending the piston, then retracting the piston again. Then we get enough delay because this other observer block uh, comes here and powers this guy uh, at the right time. And it also uh, is able to retract. But of course, there is a solid block here. So when this guy gets down uh, back here, uh, this guy also gets a second pulse, which would break the door and make you uh, possibly need a furnace here. but uh, I don't know, I don't know, we just got lucky here and we don't need a furnace there. So here's uh, when things become interesting. So because this is a dual edge, we have a problem because uh, when we press the button, we want these guys to pulse only once, so it flip flops the, the, the blocks in or out, all right? So what I do here is uh, when this comes down, it creates a bud here because yeah, this creates power, but it also touches these, this piston here creating a pulse. And this is a single pulse, so this is how uh, the, the dual edge becomes a single pulse. Then observer, then we are able to power those two pistons here. And surprisingly enough, uh, those, are, those all function uh, in sync. So another observer here powers this guy like this. Uh, for the double extender, yeah, let's see the double extender in action. So the double extender is something uh, I frequently use. Let me demonstrate. I, I use it, this mechanism multiple times and you can do this in other directions as well. So let me grab some uh, inventory here to demonstrate. Well, So usually uh, what we do, the simple way to do this kind of double extender is to have uh, this repeater here facing uh, this direction so that it works as a ABVA gate. So when you just break the block, you just need one extra pulse. So what I do here is I invert this repeater and the input is a one tick pulse. So this is specific for uh, a situation where you need, uh, where you know you're gonna get two one tick pulses followed by each other. So if you give it a one tick pulse, it will extend and push something. And then if you give it another one tick pulse, it will fully retract. Okay, so this is what I do here. I get two one tick pulses from these guys here, and then I do this. But I use it on three ticks, so it won't automatically uh, fully retract because I need to switch this option, okay? So here comes a really weird thing that I must uh, show you guys. So let's pay attention to uh, this block here. So I just created updates, but don't, never mind. The things that happen down here don't really matter now. Uh, okay, so let's activate the door. So of course, uh, this observer block is going to touch the solid block and create a pulse here. So the door closes or opens in this case. And then look at what's going to happen when the observer block is removed from this position. This is the weirdest thing ever. So pulse and another pulse. 
So when this guy is removed, it it won't send power down here, but it still sends something. <laughs> I don't know what this something is. It's probably an update, pure update. I, I, I have no idea how the code works for this thing, but you can see that the second thing that's, that gets sent through, through this block doesn't power the other blocks, but still we get two pulses there, so let's see that. One, two. So we get those two, the double one tick pulse that we need, so we have the double piston extender working here. And because we have delay here, this is how I do the last retraction. So I just place this guy here, and when the door needs to open, this guy gets the last pulse from this. We actually don't need this block as well, because this is quite interesting. Okay, let's see now. It still works. So I thought that this guy uh, was sending, was creating some sort of virtual power block here, but that's not the case. This is just proper timing here. Uh, we can we can do something with sand to demonstrate this. Uh, so let's use this solid block here. And do I have sand here? Yes. All right. So yeah, I think this is right. I'm not, I don't know. We, don't, we just need to, to change one block if not. Okay. So now. When this block is pushed down, sand will take one extra tick or some extra ticks to be out of this region. So uh, this guy will still be powered and then we will cause it to update. Just like this. <laughs> so yeah guys, almost no redstone. This door is really weird, really simple and really interesting. So this is why I wanted to showcase this to you and motivate you guys to explore and just find out more about the, the observer blocks because they are really cool, really interesting. So that's going to be it for this video. Once again, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching another video from me. Thank you, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.